The man who came to political life in the 70s through a by-election to represent St. Joseph and also served as a Minister of Agriculture, Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the House of Assembly has a place in the hearts of many. They all spoke to his strengths, the powerful and commanding voice he possessed, his abilities as a brilliant senior counsel, and the mentorship he gave young politicians like Glenn Clark and Cynthia Ford and George Payne. He was also seen as a lover of nature by Dr. Mohammed Nagdi with his bird sanctuary at Ashford. His daughter Carolyn thanked the government for the official funeral and said their father was there for them. My dad was a very social man. He craved human connection and interaction. I remember the parties, the friends, the politicians on both sides being at our house. Our house was always full. It was loud with laughter and debate. I learned so much from listening to the friendly but spirited banter where he, was, where he and his friends strongly disagreed about everything, but always ended the evening with a laugh, a drink, and a promise to pick it up next time. George Payne eulogized him and spoke about the Bolden Doctrine. This became known as the Bolden Doctrine, Bolden Doctrine. No wonder he was easily reelected in 1971, 1976, and 1981. Many local politicians have since adopted the Bolden Doctrine. My good friend Ronald Toppin confessed that it was key to his own success in the St. Michael North in six consecutive elections, even though he admitted that he had money too. Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley also paid tribute and remembered the moment Mr. Bolden invited them to his home to celebrate St. Thomas MP Cynthia Ford's victory at the polls. Lindsay ensured that half of St. Thomas was at Ashford that night to celebrate the election of what he considered another grassroots politician like himself in the form of Cynthia Ford. I want to say to his family that Dementia is never easy. And we thank you for ensuring that in spite of the occurrence of that dementia, that you were able to provide for him in a manner befitting of his dignity and befitting also of his generosity of spirit. May he rest in peace and rise in glory.